Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba on Sunday, December 22nd. Uh, me and Bubba here, it's a rainy day and cold in Georgia. So we are just here inside, just came out from the outside. A little rainy there. I wanted to do a video on uh, continuing on Tulsi Gabbard. So I would say Tulsi Gabbard the best we have right now. For all you supporters of Tulsi Gabbers and all you undecided and all you independents, uh, she's the best we have right now and she's demonstrated it time after time. I don't agree with all the views she's got but I don't think any of you do. Do you agree with anything? 100% of another person? No. But she has demonstrated something that none of the other candidates on the Democratic or Republicans have. A sense of honor, a sense of trust, and a sense of being American. I never thought nobody would have that. Because I've always asked, what is to be an American? And never could find it. It took me 40 years to find it. Tulsi Gabbard has it. When she said, present... That meant a lot of things. And then when she explained why she said present, that sends a lot of things. And when she said that the Democratic House leadership, i.e. Pelosi, should have looked at rebuke before they went as far as impeachment, that tells you that political and hate prevailed in that House more than honesty, governmental procedures, and... Loyalty to the American system. They threw that out the bathwater, didn't they? Now, they created a president where any party, if the other don't like the president or the whoever is up in the White House, either theirs or the opposition, they have the right to impeach. Really? I don't think founding fathers looked at impeachment that way. That was their last, last resort. They were looking at something like censure, rebuke, and all kinds of stuff before that. But Congress have never done that. They went straight to the juggler, didn't they? So, see your supporters of Tulsi Gabbers. This is what I'm saying. you got to get together here. You have a candidate. She may not win because the Democratic Party don't want her to win. There's too much at stake for them if she wins. They, they lose all kinds of uh, leftist money and all kinds of stuff. You got to bring the party back from the leftist side, back to the center where they used to be, under Lyndon Johnson. Remember, give them hell, Harry. Those type of Democrats, even John F. Kennedy, with all his faults, was a uh, president with consensus. He demonstrated that in the Cuban Missile Crisis. He could have gone the way of Trump and the Democrats today. That would have been disastrous for America, wouldn't it? If he would have done what they're doing today. So, I'm not advocating Democrats, I'm not advocating Republicans, and I'm not advocating Tulsi Gabbards. But I do see in her something that your country is lacking. A sense of honor a sense of being American and forgetting about being Asian, being American. That is where your society should be, but you never got there because you never bothered to stop and smell the roses. So this is what I'm saying, Americans, especially you supporters of Tulsi Gabbards. Get out there. Spread the word. Your alien is behind you here and Bubba too. So let's get it done, huh? Let's show these Democratic leftists who's boss. Good day.